old gamers. We're all in our mom's basement at one point or another with the games all surrounded, right? Come on. I love you guys, man. <laughs> I, I, I got guys calling me, sending me emails, asking for information on how to, you know, I'm stuck in this level. I keep dying in case. Uh, what do I do? Fugazi mine. Get used to Fugazi mine. <laughs> you know, and when I tell you to use the crossbow, use the damn crossbow. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I give the player a lot of information as Sergeant Woods, and if you follow that information, going to get through the level pretty quick and pretty unscarred. So I say, you know, cover the bridge, cover the damn bridge. <laughs> now, of course, of course, if you haven't figured it out, I'm talking, of course, to Jim Burns, Sergeant Woods from Call of Duty Black Ops, one of the most popular games of all time. How you doing today, man? I'm having a ball. This is great. This is exciting. I mean, this, to be part of this whole thing is just a real honor, a real pleasure. Yeah. Now, how is there any pressure going in as an actor knowing that Call of Duty is this huge franchise that sells millions of copies around the world? Well, funny you should ask that. Uh, when I got offered the job last September, I don't know games. And they called me up, they, they offered me this job, and I, I, I go, well, what is it? I, and I said, Call of Duty. I called my manager, I said, listen, I get to offer this gig for a video game. It's called Call of Duty. He goes, are you out of your freaking mind? Take the job. I go, what? He goes, it's the biggest thing in the world. I go, all right, man, cool. I'll take the gig. I'll take the gig. And I'm so glad I did. I'm glad I listened to him because it's, uh, it was a great experience. You know, because we, we did the beta testing back in, you know, we, we, we tested the new, you know, full performance capture technique in the fall, we perfected it, and then we shot in earnest in February, and then it was just a year of, year straight of just shooting and shooting and shooting, so it's great, I had a ball doing this. So now, are you a, a huge gamer, are you into it now, are you, are you getting that online there? I got no skills. <laughs> Man, I get smoked by 12 year old kids, I mean, I, 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 I get, I have no skills. It takes time, I don't have the time to learn, and I just, I get, I just, it's, it's sad. It's just so sad, yeah. So, so, you're, so you admit you're a bit of a noob then? Noob? I wish I was a noob. I wish I had that much skill, okay? I, I just, it's, it's a nightmare. You know, I, I, just, I, I give up. I just go away. I, I, just, I just turn on the, you know, my videos and watch my friends play because it's, it's easier. Now, now, most guys are just doing the voices, but you also did the motion capture. You also actually were physically doing the role. How was that? What I did was called full performance capture. You know, the old school was you have a, a guy doing the motion capture, a guy doing the voice, and a guy trying to lip sync the face. We shot my character like a, like a movie all at once. So my body movements match my voice, you know, I, I, my, my inflections match my, my physical, you know, everything was together. My facial expressions were right on. Because you know, when you put someone else's face with a voice, it doesn't quite fit. So why this is so smooth now is that they, it's like a movie. We, I, like I shot like a nine hour movie. And that's it's a whole. It's, it's, I think it's going to change the way video games are made. It's a little more expensive, but the quality of, of the image that you see is just, it's far superior, as obviously you can tell. Now, how was it trying to get into your character, like in the middle of the Vietnam War, into this huge, this dark, dark period in, the, in, in our history with it's just a lot of violence and. I, they, I say I got the job because someone has seen a movie. I played a, a captain in, in that had a very much the same characteristics as. Frank Woods, and I've done. I'm, I'm from the '60s. I was. You know, I'm, I'm a lot older than you think. Um, and you know, I knew a lot of guys in Nam. I've studied a lot. I read a lot of books. I've done a lot of roles as a soldier. So it wasn't a far stretch to get the reason. And they brought in a lot of uh, you know experts, guys who were actually were in Nam, guys who were actually SOG. So you get to speak to these guys and get their their mindset and just see the real the fierceness these cats had and the creativity. You know, they're very creative. They actually created most of the. Uh, of the weapons that exist now were, you know, they were spawned off of the SOG in Vietnam. So they, it was really nice, to, to, it's really interesting to talk to these guys and learn the dirt of what Nam was like for those guys. So, it's research, as an actor, man, that's all. Mr. Burns, Jim Burns, thank you so much for your time, man, I really appreciate it.